Hello everybody, welcome back to Season 2 of Ubercraft. So, a lot has happened. It is Episode 4, um, and down in the description below, there will be two links. Uh, it will be two different streams that I've done between Episode 3 and Episode 4. Uh, mostly showing some of the progress that has been made on the base, um, because I know a lot looks different. So, uh, just to start out, I... Um, Organize the chests and stuff, and I organize this stuff. Um, so that stuff's all organized. And if you go over here, the chests are not organized. I went mining, and I have a lot of redstone, of course, uh, some diamonds, some emeralds, all that stuff. I have my enchantment table done. Now the Nether portal has been removed. Uh, I put it somewhere else. I've been to the Nether, and over here I have two villagers. I'll explain how I got all that later. And if we go over here to the farm. Um, this is uh, all redone. So as you guys know, this little section right here was just the whole farm. Then I extended it. So this is now the sugar cane. This is the carrot, wheat, and potatoes over here. And then down here is the animal farms. And right now I have two chickens, which I'll let's again tell you guys how that happened. Uh, and then we're going to have cows, pigs, and chickens uh, eventually. Uh, and then if we go over here, we have the melons and the pumpkins. Now, uh, if you guys watch the stream, you guys will know that I did have a chicken right here, uh, and then I moved him over there, and I kind of did all this, but I kind of like how this looks. It looks, I, I like it. It just looks good. And then over here, I just made a concrete maker because I needed some concrete for something we're going to be doing today. So, with that being said, we are going to fix some things and make some things. First thing that I want to fix is these darn lights. Look how many torches I have. Like, it is literally just torch spam everywhere. There's so many torches. Like, look at that. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove all these torches, and we're going to make this thing here called a lantern. Uh, I was looking through all the lights and stuff, and most of them need blaze uh, rods, and I don't want to go pay blazes, so we're going to go the cheap route and go with the red lanterns. So, that's why I needed to make the concrete maker, make red concrete, which is done. You need paper, and of course a glowstone bulb, which is this. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and make these lights, and actually see how many I, have. I actually need to make for this to work. So, I will be back whenever I get that done. Okay, so, we ran into a problem. Uh, these things give us 11, like a light level 11. And these torches give us 12. But... All of this is now safe. Mobs cannot spawn at any of this. It is all um, uh, 9 or above. So that's always a plus. But the next problem is, is that I ran out of materials. Um, it's, it takes a lot to make these bulbs. So we might just have to stick with the torch spam for now. I'll slowly work on the torch spam uh, as time goes on. But for now, we just have a torch spam central. So we are going to go ahead and move on to the next thing, which is the emerald bow. So we're going to go ahead and put this stuff away. To make the emerald bow, you need to do this with the diamond bow, gold bow, stone bow. Uh, yeah. So I actually want to test out something. If I make another iron bow and I combine this, I wonder if the infinity will go on the diamond, or the gold bow, which will go on the diamond bow, which will go on to the emerald bow. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to a survival world and test this out. And if not, then well, we'll just have a regular emerald bow then that we can enchant. So I will be back. Okay, so I looked at it, and no, the infinity does not go over. So we're going to have to make this thing without the infinity part. So let's go ahead and make the gold bow here. Boom. Let's go ahead and make the diamond bow. <coughs> okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. And make the emerald bow. And Oh, 
that one. I just made another strong diamond. When that wasn't necessary, now we have a strong diamond. Unless I can... Oh, okay, I can get a diamond back at least. Wrong with you. Yeah, one more button. Okay. <coughs> Let's go ahead and, uh, we'll wait until we get to level 30 before we enchant this. But when we get to level 30, we'll go ahead and enchant it. Now, before I forget, let me go ahead and grab this stuff here. Um, I did, like I said, I did go to the nether, and I already got two gas tiers. Uh, and if I put this stuff into the crafting table here, just like this, I get a flying upgrade. Now if I do this, and I do this, or I don't know how to do it, so. Uh, ah, okay, I was going to do that. hit B before. I want to go ahead and enchant this thing first. Uh, actually, hold on, if we do B. Uh, upgrade. Okay. And if I do this, yep. And I almost died too. Nice. But yeah, see, I can fly now. So, let's see what kind of enchantments we do get from this thing. I'm going to get some lava here. Flame and break the power. So, I'm going to try to get the flame. I guess, because I don't know what, because you never know what else I'm going to get. So, I'm going to go and go down into the mine and get level 30. Speaking of the mine, I've actually been doing some more work down in here, because, uh, like I said in the stream, um, I am planning on digging all of this out, and you can already tell how far I've gotten. But we do have some mobs, I'm going to have to light it up a little bit more, but, you know, and I'm not going to wait until level 30, mostly because I am going to get shorted amount of time today. So we're just going to go here, eat, and breaking. I do have a breaking one at least, so... At least it'll be a level four it breaks. We just need a lot of arrows. Which we kinda have. We have eleven. Well we have twelve now. Okay guys, so I've been very uh, neglected with this farm. Like I've told Lego like how I don't want to pick it up because it's just so much work for me to like do this and replace and replant. So what I'm gonna do is we're going to go oops, well, it's good thing I have my help. Um we're gonna go ahead and start replacing this farm, so let's go. Okie jokey. So this is what we've ended up with in the end. <sighs> of course that doesn't take that long because we did add a new mod where you just literally hold down right click and it just replants it and gives you the stuff in the inventory. So that was actually way much faster than I thought. But that's done. Everything's been collected. Now I'm going to go and store this stuff in the chest and I'll be right back. So now to explain how I got these villagers. So if we type in NPC how you make an NPC net and uh, to make an NPC net you need a medium internet boom small internet boom okay so I picked up the villagers with this and then I put them in here I put one over here one over here and then I switched this one to go over here with this one and now they're just farmers over here I am gonna make a village breeder uh, over here one of these uh, episodes and uh, that's gonna be fun uh, you probably like where'd you get the slime balls well I went out to find a uh, swamp, and instead of finding the swamp, I found like 85 more villages, and then I found another village, we're trying to make, we're trying to find those guys with the other villages that I already found, but I never did find a swamp, so when I was like, you know what, whatever, so I went down here to start mining, and then I found a huge slime, which, you know, made baby slimes, which made baby slimes, which made baby slimes, which made slime balls, so, I mean, I got my seven slime balls, if I would have had another one, I would have want to make another, uh, in an NPC net, but for now, that's what we got. And the same thing for the chickens, I made the small net, and I got two of the chickens, and I put them over there, 
but then I moved them over here. Um, so my next goal for over here is to fill the animals up, but I also need to get dirt over here for the sheep. So um, I either need to get silk touch or I need to take the grass all the way down to here, which I'm not going to do. So I'm going to have to get silk touch one of these days. So we're probably going to have to go uh, dungeon seeking uh, soon. But for now, that looks like to be everything. I'm going to go ahead and collect these two trees here. I technically should have done this in the time lapse since it's technically a farm, but it's fine. So other than that, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Ubercraft. We did get a couple things finished today. I will get more stuff uh, done along the way, especially these lanterns. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you guys want to see more of Ubercraft, hit the like button down below, subscribe today if you're new. Hit the notification bell so you guys know whenever I will go live or when I post on a new video. And I'll talk to you guys next episode. Bye bye <laughs>